Please adhere to YouTube's selected guidelines before viewing content of this video. I do not encourage or condone any products, actions, or behaviors shown in this video. All videos are produced in a safe, professional, and controlled environment. Please do not attempt to replicate any actions performed during the video. All actions are performed by professionals. Alrighty, so today I'm going to be building a pipe out of an empty paper towel roll and smoking through it, which honestly I am very, very, very excited to do. Now, some of y'all might be wondering, how is this pipe going to work? Because, I mean, like, there's an empty hole on this side, there's an empty hole on this side. How is that gonna work? That's not gonna work very well airflow-wise and pull-wise and everything like that kind of thing. In fact, if I tried to smoke it just like that kind of thing, I don't think it would work at all, in all honesty kind of thing. Well, essentially, what I'm gonna be making today is a steam roller pipe. Now, how steamroller pipes work is you put a bowl in the top right here, and then to create the suction, the pull that you need, you put your hand on the end right there. And that's how you smoke a steamroller pipe, which is pretty cool, I will admit. I've never smoked out of a steamroller pipe before, and so today I am very, very, very excited to create my own out of an empty paper towel roll and to smoke out of a steam roller pipe for, well, the first time. I have a couple different materials with me today to help me, well, make my steam roller pipe out of this empty paper towel roll right here. Of course, I have a bowl. A bowl is pretty essential, I ain't gonna lie. Also, I have a bowl that I'm gonna be sticking in the top of the paper towel roll right here and everything like that. I also have my knife, of course, to cut the hole that I need to stick the bowl in and everything like that kind of thing. And just in case, just in case, the bowl is a little bit wiggly and everything like that kind of thing. I also have some masking tape just in case I need to tape it off to add extra, to, to, that, to make the airflow a little bit more, uh, well, airflowy, I do suppose, or to, or to prevent outside air from coming in. I don't know how to put it in all honesty. I have this to seal up the pipe though, essentially. And I also, of course, have some tobacco with me today because I, I, I gotta be smoking something out of the pipe, you know what I'm saying? I can't just smoke the pipe. I gotta be smoking something out of the pipe, you know what I'm saying? And I have some American Spirit tan tobacco with me today that I'm gonna be smoking out of, well, the empty paper towel roll, roll once I finish making it into a well pipe. But without further ado, let's go ahead and get my knife all opened up. My knife that I'm going to be using today is a CRKT M1601KS uh, by Carson Design. It's a pretty good knife, I will admit. I'm a big fan of this knife, you know what I'm saying? And I do think without further ado, let's just go ahead and start making a hole. I think right about here should do it. So let's just go ahead and I don't do this. Don't do what I'm doing. Because what I'm doing is I'm 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 taking the knife and my fingers right here. If this goes all the way through, it's going into my finger. I'm actually going to be a little bit more careful. I was taught not to do that. I really should not do that in all honesty. And I'm just going to start just going through just a little bit like that kind of thing. And there we go. Hopefully that is big enough. I'm going to go ahead and try to stick the pipe through just like that. And there we go. All right. The pipe fits. Now what I think I'm going to do, because there is a decent amount of a gap around the pipe right there. And while I don't think that's the most big issue in the world, I will admit, I do need to make sure that the airflow is better than not, that is for sure. So what I'm gonna go ahead and do now is I am gonna go ahead and take my masking tape. I'm gonna go ahead and find where I left it off and I'm gonna go ahead and just start peeling it just like I am now. Well, I'm not peeling it yet. I've gotta get it up first. There we go. Oh, oh, there we go. All right, sweet, sweet. Let's go and peel that all up. I'm just gonna get a bunch off. Oh, there we go. I was afraid that that was gonna tear. That would have been not fun. That is for sure. I hate it when my stuff tears. And let's just go ahead and put that back down on the ground. And now let's just go ahead and tape off the airflow, right? Oh, whoopsies. Let's make sure that this is up enough. And let's go and tape this off right here. And I can always do, I can always use more tape in the future if I need. This is not going to be the prettiest look in the world, uh, but it doesn't need to be in all honesty. It really does not need to be the prettiest look in the world. It just needs to do the job. I think I used too big of a strip of tape though, I will admit. And uh, there we go. All right, I don't think this is doing the job very well, but it just needs to do the job. I think I'm gonna go back over with another layer of tape. Yeah, that's not pretty. That's not pretty, but I mean like, hey, if it does the job and this is definitely much more firmly in there now, I think I'm gonna go back over with another layer of tape and then after that, I'm gonna go ahead and try out my pipe for the first time. This has been a pretty easy build procedure, I ain't gonna lie, not hard at all, I, I ain't gonna lie on, not hard at all, very, very, very easy, very, very, very simple to make. As long as you have a bowl, some tape, and, a, and an empty cardboard tube kind of thing, really, really, really easy, not difficult at all, I ain't gonna lie, y'all. Certainly no complaints on my behalf always happens look at that look at that pissed i'm pissed i can't believe this the only thing in the world that pisses me off is masking tape doing what it just did no i'm just kidding i'm like it, it does it does actually genuinely annoy me though i hate when that happens i hate when that happens 
Uh, but let's just go ahead and just tape this off uh, just a little bit more just to make sure the airflow is truly all good and everything like that. Let's just go ahead and have that come around just a little bit more kind of thing, just like that. And I think that should be all good. Alrighty, I'm just gonna go and do a test throw real quick. Hopefully that is all good. Hopefully that is all good. I think that should be all good. I don't see any major areas. I mean, like I see some parts where the tape is not really as far down as it should be, but if this doesn't work super well on the first try, I can always add more tape, uh, but I'm ready for some smoke. I ain't gonna lie, y'all. I am ready for some smoke. So I do think without further ado, it is now time for me to go ahead and get one of my American Spirit Tan light cigarettes out. And I'm just gonna go and get this out. And I'm just going to go ahead and, oh, how do I want to do this? How do I want to get the tobacco in the bowl? I think the easiest way is probably for me to go ahead and just hold this, the pipe like this, and I'm just going to start squeezing the tobacco into the bowl itself. I think that's probably the easiest way for me to get all of my tobacco into the bowl. Uh, but overall, so far, as long as this works properly, this has been a really, really, really easy build procedure. Not difficult at all, in all honesty. Super easy. I think that should be enough to start off with. Really, really, really easy though. Certainly no complaints on my behalf. And I'm looking forward to seeing how well this is going to work. How well my homemade pipe that was made out of a cardboard tube is gonna work. I'm very, very, very excited to find out. Uh, first off though, before I go ahead and get it all lit up, I suppose I should probably grab my lighter out of my pocket. It's probably a good idea. Now that I have my lighter out of my pocket though, I do think without further ado, let's go ahead and get this right here all lit up and go ahead and see whether it is actually possible to smoke tobacco out of an empty paper towel tube, a cardboard pipe. Yeah, I do suppose. Whatever you want to call it kind of thing. A steamroller pipe, whatever you want to call it kind of thing. Let's go and see if it's possible. Yes, sir, yes, sir. You know what I'm saying? I'm saying. Ooh, that was rough. That was rough right off the bat. Certainly not helped by the fact that I am indeed smoking American Spirit tobacco out of this. But man, oh man, that was pretty rough. I got a little bit of pull through. But certainly no complaints on my behalf either way, you know what I'm saying? That was pretty rough though, but it did indeed work, you know what I'm saying? It did indeed work. Let's go and give it another go. Wow, that is really rough though. That is really, really, really rough. Makes sense why it's so rough. Makes sense why it's so rough, I ain't gonna lie. There's no carb, nothing like that. Or I do suppose the carb is literally this right here. I do suppose that is literally the carb. That is, yeah, that is literally the carb. Okay, that makes so much more sense. That was really rough though. That was really, really, really rough. Wow, wow. And right off the bat, I'm definitely feeling better than not. I'm not quite feeling buzzed yet, I will admit, uh, but I'm definitely feeling better than not, so certainly no complaints on my behalf, you know what I'm saying? Overall, can you make a pipe out of an empty paper towel roll? Uh, you most certainly can. You most certainly can. Certainly no complaints on my behalf, that is for sure. Now let's go ahead and take another hit though. Oh, I'm gonna try to get a screenshot on this hit. Oh, wow. Oh, man. Oh, I'm gonna need a second. <laughs> that kicked my ass. Wow. That's really rough. Wow. Whoa. Oof. That's really, really, really rough. Oh, my God. Wow. Man, if you if y'all smoke these, if y'all smoke steamroller pipes on a daily basis, y'all y'all's lungs are built different. You know what I'm saying? Y'all's lungs are built different. That's so rough. That's that's rougher than a one hitter. That's insane. Wow. And it makes it makes sense why it's so rough because I mean like this is so long and you're just getting so much smoke through it kind of thing. It's so long and then you and then you get that and then you try to inhale the rest of it too kind of thing. It makes sense why it's so rough. Oh, but man, my throat. It's not is not is not built for is not built for smoking a steamroller pipe that is for sure i definitely have to smoke one of these on a daily basis to really be able to uh to really be able to get the hang of it i ain't gonna lie y'all 
man, that was that was really rough. But I ain't gonna lie, that last hit got me pretty buzzed. That last hit got me pretty buzzed. I don't know what it was about that last hit. Maybe it just jolted me awake because it was so rough. But I'm feeling pretty buzzed right now. I'm feeling pretty buzzed right now. Certainly no complaints on my behalf. You know what I'm saying? Certainly no complaints on my behalf at all. Man, oh man, I am very satisfied with this experience. I am very, very, very satisfied with this experience. Very rough. Very rough, which I should have totally expected. I should have totally expected it to be really rough, but it was it was really rough. I ain't gonna lie, y'all. Uh, but the buzz is pretty dang big, if I do say so myself. Not the biggest buzz I've ever had, uh, but still a pretty good buzz nonetheless. Let's just go ahead. I'm just gonna go and compact down the tobacco or the ash just a little bit and see if I can get myself another hit. Oof. Oh man, that's really rough. That's really rough. Certainly not helped by there being a lot of uh, tobacco tar in my bowl, that is for sure. Certainly not helped by that. Certainly not helped by that, I will admit. Yeah, this is really rough. This is really rough. It's a good experience. I'm getting a really fat buzz, but it's really rough. It's really rough. Uh, would I do this again right off the bat? Oh man, would I do this again? Yeah, I think this is like a fun party gimmick kind of thing. This is totally a fun party gimmick. Like the party, you're at like the party, you see they're out of paper towels or something like that kind of thing. You grab it, you grab a bowl or something like that and you start smoking out of it kind of thing. I think it's a pretty funny party gimmick. Uh, but would I do this on a daily basis? No, 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 I would not. I would not do this on a daily basis. I would not do this on a routine basis. I'll stick to my ciggies. I'll stick to my ciggies because my throat right now is dying. My throat right now is dying. This is a good experience though. I am getting a fatty buzz, but <laughs> it's definitely not an experience I'd wanna have every day. I ain't gonna lie out. Definitely not an experience I'd wanna have every day. But I'm not even done with this bowl yet. I've gotta finish off the bowl before I finish off the video. And here I was thinking, I was I was, I was thinking at the beginning of the video before I before I uh, started recording, I was like, yeah, man, I don't know how many, I don't know how much I'm gonna smoke in today's video. I was like, I don't know if I'm gonna go for one bowl or two bowls kind of thing. I already knew it was probably gonna work. But I was just kind of like, I don't know if I'm gonna go for one bowl or two bowls, kind of. I'm sticking with one bowl. <laughs> I'm sticking with one bowl. That's perfectly fine with me. That's perfectly fine with me. That's a, I'm all good. I'm all good, you know what I'm saying? I am all good. Man, oh man. This is so rough. <sighs> there we go. Smaller hits are definitely the way. Smaller hits are definitely the way that is for sure. Oh my goodness. Wow. Yeah, this is a, a pretty intense experience, I can lie on. Pretty intense experience. I would not really recommend any of y'all try this, that is for sure. I certainly wouldn't really recommend it. This is really rough, definitely not good for your health, but I am certainly glad to be having this experience nonetheless, that is for sure. It's an experience to be had, and I'm glad I'm having it, you know what I'm saying? I'm gonna go and try to get another screenshot, though. Gotta make sure I get some good screenshots for the, for the thumbnail, you know what I'm saying? Ooh. Oh man. Wow. That is a really rough. That is ooh, really rough. And I'm trying to take smaller hits so my throat doesn't completely die. And so I don't cough my lungs out because I almost did earlier on in the video. But even trying to take those small hits, it's still super rough. It's still so rough. Oh my God. Wow. Ooh. Dang. I certainly can't diss it, though. I certainly can't diss it. It's getting me buzzed. It's getting me buzzed, that is for sure. But man, is it rough. Man, is it rough. I'm going to take a minute. Wow. Wow. This has got to be one of the roughest smoking experience I've ever, most of the, one of the roughest smoking experiences I've ever had. A glass pipe, a normal pipe, one hitters, smoking doka out of a can, smoking tobacco out of a can, does not compare to this. <laughs> this is so rough, so rough. Oh my God.
well. Wow. I am impressed. I am impressed, I ain't gonna lie. I am very impressed right now. This is a good experience. It's getting me really, really, really buzzed. It's super rough though. It's super rough, man. Whew, I'm just gonna take a minute. Oh man. Wow. It's a good buzz. It's a good buzz. It really is. But dang, is it rough. Dang, is it rough. I, can't, I haven't even finished off the bowl yet though. I need to finish off the bowl before I finish off this video and I haven't even finished off the bowl yet. Man, oh man, I gotta finish off the bowl. Oh man, I'm gonna give myself another minute. I feel like I gotta burp. Maybe not, maybe not. I felt like I had to burp there for a minute, but then no burp came. And now I still kind of feel like I have to burp, but I also don't at the same time. No, I still feel like I gotta burp. Nope, no burp coming, no burp coming. I still feel like I gotta burp, but there's no burp coming. Maybe it's just my throat closing up because it's so dang rough. Oh, excuse me. There was a little bit of a burp. There was a little bit of a burp. Feel much better now. Feel much better. Burps, burps and farts always be helping make your stomach feel better. I ain't gonna lie. Oh, my stomach wasn't hurting, but I certainly did feel like I had a burp coming. That is for sure. And I'm glad I got that burp out before I tried to take a hit because otherwise I would have burped halfway through that hit. And then that would have really killed me. I ain't gonna lie, y'all. That would have not been a fun experience. I think I'm gonna go ahead and just compact this down just a little bit more though and go ahead and try to take i think more than likely the last couple hits off of uh this this pipe right here in all honesty I'm trying to get a good screenshot once again Whew. oh man i think that was it though I think that was it. I saw some stuff pull through. Yeah, I'm pretty sure that was it in all honesty. I'm pretty sure that was it in all honesty. I'm just gonna go ahead and just grab a little bit of a stick if I can find one. Let's see, let's see. Is there a little bit of a stick around or anything like that? I see a stick back here. There we go, I got a stick. I'm just gonna go and clean up my uh, bowl real quick. Just make sure that was all I had to have, that, make sure that was all I had to smoke. And that was all I had to smoke. There is nothing left, but man, oh man. So, what are my final thoughts on this experience where I smoke tobacco out of an empty water pipe, out of an empty water pipe? No, this is, I'm buzzed. <laughs> oh man, I did not smoke tobacco out of an empty water pipe. How was this experience where I smoked tobacco out of an empty paper towel roll that I built myself? How was this experience? Oh man, really rough, really rough. Really fat buzz though, really fat buzz though. Pretty good experience, pretty good experience. I can't see myself doing this again in any realistic facet, I will admit. I can't see myself doing this again. But it would be a cool party trick. It would be a really cool party trick. I don't go to parties, but if I was at a party, let's say, and I wanted to show off some smoking gimmick or something like that kind of thing, let's say I wanted to flex, Grab an empty paper towel roll and stick a bowl in the end, uh, put some tape around it or something like that kind of thing, and smoke out of it kind of thing. How much how much more party tricky can you get? That is for sure. That is for sure. Uh, certainly no complaints on my behalf, though. That is for sure. Very rough, very big bit buzz, and something I don't think I'd do on any routine basis, but definitely fun to do nonetheless. This is an experience I'm glad I had. I do not regret doing this experience at all, and I am feeling pretty good right now. I ain't gonna lie, y'all. I certainly hope you guys have enjoyed watching this video where I built a pipe out of an empty paper towel roll and smoked out of it if you guys have enjoyed watching this video of course please make sure to well like and subscribe for more content i have my instagram my book my merch my po box and my second channel all in the description down below go check it all out you know what i'm saying but yeah thank you very much for watching y'all to the next one stay safe and peace never right one yes sir yes sir you know what i'm saying